The lullaby league will be there with a song in the night and a prayer to quiet your mind. The lullaby league will encourage your heart with it. It was an idea that came uh, unexpectedly, very unexpectedly. Uh, there's a Bible verse that says you'll, you'll hear a voice behind you um, saying this is the way, walk in it. That quite literally happened. I was working at a church. I was a worship ministry assistant and I was walking full speed ahead. And I was about seven strides from the sanctuary doors and I heard a voice from behind me just say, the lullaby league. And I stopped dead in my little boots <laughs> right there in the hallway. And I said out loud, what? <laughs> because, because I was so startled by it and uh, then very gently was just the lullaby league. And I remember thinking, uh, okay, what does that mean? And it was just kind of like, you know, details to come. Okay. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, yes, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> but I had that in my mind and it was rolling over and it just was kind of this constant tune in my head, just the lullaby league. And you know, I would wake up in the morning and I would be like, the lullaby league. And I finally got smart and just like prayed about it. I hear you. What is this you're telling me? Exactly. You? I hear you. I, I have yeah. the three words written down. I understood that it was, this is going to be a ministry and it was going to do with lullabies, which is cool because it was something that I had grown up with my whole life um, from grandparents to parents to sisters singing lullabies over me. So it's was like, okay, I understand. The Lullaby League is a ministry and I need a partner. I, I like League I, means more than one. League, exactly. Yeah. League is not the lullaby person. Person, <laughs> yeah. So as soon as I thought you need a person, Tammy's little face was in my head immediately. And uh, she and I were already really good friends, yeah. had already been longtime friends, and had already sung together um, and actually have a pretty amazing kindred spirit and vocal ability. Um, so sister, sister melody or sister, sister quality yeah. voices. Yeah. Kind of fit together. And I called Tammy and I said, Hey, I have this thing. And I was kind of hoping we could meet one night after work and I talk about this thing. And Tammy's like, what thing? I'm like, ah, it's this ministry idea. Hey, you want to join me? I thought, well, if this is something that Robin wants to do, I am going to go all for it. Well, if it works out, great. Um, I said, sure. Did I? I didn't even. Did no, I? She, it was the cutest thing because I'm kind of laying this out before her. I explained this whole experience that I'd had in the hallway. And, and she's not somebody that gets freaked out by what I refer to as God woo moments. Um, so she totally was like, yeah. I, I, okay. And, you know, I explained it to her. I, I just know the basics and I, I don't know where we'll go from here. So we officially started June 26th. 2012. Yeah, we met at my house, right? Yep, and I drove you, after work to your house. And you had, she's the one who always had music all ready to go. So she had our books ready to go <laughs> and, you know, our first lullabies. They were mm -hmm. all tried and true classics and we were going to go from there. Yeah, I had typed up the lullabies that I had mm -hmm. grown up with. Um, as we met, um, it was really obvious that we were going to do something. The goal then we both understood after praying was the Lullaby League is going to be in some way, shape or form a ministry that come alongside people who are going through hard times or are in hospitals um, or in their homes in hospice care. And they can ask us to come and um, pray with and sing over people that are hurting. I think that at first we were thinking lullabies, those are for children, you know, or whatever. And I mean, our dream was children's hospital. But then, you know, as God does, he, he expands the dream. If, if we're faithful to move mm -hmm. forward, he expands the dream you know, people in need everywhere, whether it's spiritual or physical or mental, anything that would help just soothe their, their sorrows. So then it was like, okay, well, we, we learned a little group of songs um, and, you know, we worked on our, our harmonies and tried to figure out idea for like what we should look like. And then, okay, so now we kind of were ready to give it a go. The first opportunity we had was actually pretty amazing. It was yeah. Union Gospel Mission, Hope Place. Uh, a women's and children's shelter on Othello in Seattle. People who were, for the most part, homeless, but they opened their place for these wonderful dinner kind of things where we would be the entertainment and we, you know, sang with them. And soon enough, we decided to um, schedule a 
pajama bedtime party yeah. where we read them stories, bedtime stories, and then also sang with them. And they came down in their pajamas and with had their, their blankets and their teddies and and that was just such a precious little time. We're gonna sing to the ladies, but when they found out what we were singing, they had the moms uh, run out and bring their kids in. So we immediately, mm -hmm. our first audience was a combination, and we, as we were singing, saw the men come out from, from helping serve yes, and yeah. kicking <laughs> to listen. So it was like, okay, yeah. And then the pajama party, same mm -hmm. thing. We had all these adorable kids, and it kind of was like, hey moms, you've got a free hour of time, but the moms all stayed in the room. We also, because we were a partnership, um, people started asking us to do worship mm -hmm. as well at different um, conferences. And I think our biggest. Oh, by far, yeah. yeah our biggest <laughs> was when, um, I, I'm from Alaska, and one of my really good friends actually is the chairman of the Southeast Alaska Women's Conference. Mm -hmm. And they um, got Beth Moore to come, and we got to do worship for um, a Beth Moore conference. Yes. And I'd be lying if I didn't say I was terrified, excited, but completely terrified. Right. It was. But it was the it was most big, amazing thing. It was. Tammy and I, we, we got God. to pray mm -hmm. with. Well, Beth gathers all the volunteers beforehand, so we had all the leadership from the Southeast Women's Conference, and we had Beth and all the people helping her, and all the musicians that were helping, and all the mm -hmm. tech team that were available got together to pray. So we prayed just before we went out. Um, we started striding onto the stage, and the Holy Spirit just did this cool yeah. thing. It's almost audible. Yeah. yeah, and we just calmed down. Just yeah. calm on the inside, like, you got this. I've, I've, got, I've got you, so you've got this. Yeah, we did a lot of prep work. I think that if we do our part, God shows up. Yeah. Yep. And to know that God has been with us, I mean, by the generosity of God's people, yep. getting this done. My sister, yeah, oh, doing our, sir, so. doing our, if you can see Do you it. see this? That is our logo, I think, amazing. She made us jackets. Her sister, Lori, she's our, mm -hmm. we, have, we have some super fans. Um, she is a super and fan. And she's one of our super fans. And uh, she has just blessed us. God has just literally, this entire project for this entire ministry made a way. Uh, it makes perfect sense to me now when I think about him saying to me, the Lullaby League, Tammy came alongside and now we are doing things together. Um, but the truth is it was his idea. But the Lullaby League is not just us. It's um, the people that have come alongside us. Our board, our volunteers, absolutely. our believers. Our, our supporters. God has been alongside us in such a great way that um, I'm just, I'm excited to see what he's gonna do yeah. in the future. I am thankful for what he's done in the past. He sent down all these songs. Some of them were little lullabies um, he sent to me for my children. Uh, but we have brand new lullabies that he sent for other people. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's one of the reasons I, I love this project so much. Not yeah, just it's because personal. it's us, it's but it, because it's, mm -hmm. it's, each song is specifically for a person or persons. Anyway, the whole experience for this whole project, it's his ministry, it's his project, it was his idea. He sent all the songs. It's going to come out exactly when it's supposed to come out. Um, and that's soon now. So I know. super excited so about that. Yeah. yeah. Super excited about that. He'll be there this time.